This is K0KP and welcome to the shack. We have here the Heathkit Novice Twins. These are a couple of radios that paired up together in the mid-1960s. Designed specifically for entry-level novice radio operators. The Heathkit HR10B receiver does a great job. Right now we're listening to a station in France, F5. I N is his call sign. DX60 transmitter runs about uh, 50 watts of output power. Let's give this station a call in France and see if this uh, little novice setup can work. DX into Europe tonight on 40 meters. Okay, I'm calling him. He's coming back to us. Wow, great signal report, 589. Sending back to him now. His name is Mike. Giving him, his, him my name now, Rex. And I'm telling him I'm in Minnesota. Giving him his signal report. and ask him how he copies. told us thank you very much for the contact. I'll tell him the same thing. I'll send 73. F5IN from K0 KP. Thank you. And he, uh, he told us uh, thank you for the contact and very best 73, which is good regards and, and very best wishes. And there you go. The Heathkit Novice Twins from the 1960s. The Heathkit HR10B receiver and the Heathkit DX60B transmitter on 40 meters CW. The transmitter runs about 50 watts of output power on 40 meters. And it's using a homebrew uh, variable frequency oscillator. It's a digital uh, synthesized oscillator. And here's a, a close-up of the transmitter that uh, we just used to make our contact into France. This is the Heathkit DX60B. All tuned up on 40 meters. Did a great job for us with 50 watts of power. All the way to France. And of course, we were using a straight key, just like they would have used uh, back in the uh, 1960s when the novices operated. Just a regular straight key. And here's that uh, receiver again. The Heathkit HR10B. It's picking up all of these fine signals from Europe tonight on the 40 meter band. Oh, I hope that you enjoyed uh, seeing this uh, older equipment in operation just like it was back in the 1960s with the exception of the homemade VFO 
novices back in the 1960s had to use crystals, uh, quartz crystals that were cut to specific frequencies. Um, other than that, that's the way it was back in the 60s. Working DX, which stands for long distance, from Minnesota here, all the way over to Mike in France. Thank you very much for watching. Hope that you enjoyed it. And for now, I'll say 73 to you, which is best regards, from K0KP in northern Minnesota. Bye-bye.